From the outside, looking into life living in Southeast Asia may seem fantastic. A life full of adventure, fantastic food, beautiful women, untouched beaches and low cost of living. Even though this is true, there is often a subject that is rarely discussed, especially on YouTube, and this is loneliness. There are two significant reasons why many expats experience loneliness while living in Southeast Asia. The first reason is due to habits that may be to a degree subconscious. Life in Vietnam, Philippines, Thailand and any other Southeast Asian country is fantastic but some habits are very deep within and if these habits are not changed they will often go with you and you may find that your new life and your old life are very similar. The second reason is often due Due to overworking. This can also result in a lack of stimulus in other areas of life. You may know that many expats work online. This can include teaching, blogging, YouTubing, cryptocurrency, day trading, etc. However, the human body and mind does not cope well with overworking and thus negative consequences such as loneliness often appear. I want to make sure that my subscribers know precisely everything they need to know about living in Asia. And throughout my years of living in Asia, I've come across many expats who are from America, the UK, Canada, Australia and other countries who have spoken about loneliness and it's often followed by the typical line of, I wish I knew this before I moved. This is not to say that you will experience loneliness, but it does become present and there are some things that can be done to solve this problem rather than avoid it. So this leads us on to the next question, which is... There are many reasons why expats experience loneliness while living in Southeast Asia. Today, we explored two of the most significant, but there are also many other reasons for this feeling. It's tremendously easy to fall into the grass is always greener scenario when imagining life in Asia. And to a certain degree, it's true. When moving to Southeast Asia, life is fantastic, especially in the first three to six months. But unless you are continuously traveling, life does go back to normal. For example, you pay the bills, you do the washing, etc. This is where the feelings of loneliness and periods of solitude can take over. If there are any blocks or habits that you feel will lead to loneliness, these will often catch up to you if you do not take the appropriate action to change them. Some expats have moved to Asia and completely revolutionized their life. But they were only able to achieve this by looking inwardly at their characteristics and changing their perception. Often in life, we cannot solve our problems by building upon ourselves. Sometimes we can only solve our problems by conspiring against ourselves. And this includes conspiring against our old belief system that no longer serves us. If you have a moment, grab yourself a pen and a paper and write down a few areas of your life that you feel is holding you back or will hold you back when living in Thailand, the Philippines, etc. Next, start to challenge these areas. Ask yourself, why are these domains in my life holding me back? Then begin to build a plan of action and new strategy, including how will you monitor your success? What rewards will you give yourself and how will you measure your progress? This may seem slightly silly for some, but changing one small area of your current life can impact your new life in Asia and it's never too late to start again. Loneliness is not always something that is a result of people's actions or behavior. But for those who are thinking about living abroad, it's always motivational to know that there are many things that can be done to solve this feeling of loneliness. If you wish to talk to me personally, feel free to drop me a message on my email which can be found on my YouTube profile or you can add a comment down below. 